Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Let's talk about HTMX today and I'll show how to execute POST request with HTMX, submit editable form data to the backend and how to return back validation errors and display them on a UI. So this is the topic of the video. Let's jump to the screen and let's first see the application, how it looks like and how it works. As uh, in the previous part of uh, this series about HTMX and Django, uh, application is the same. It's based on sample application available on a GitHub, and the source, all the source codes for this application you will find uh, in the URL below the video. Okay, so let's uh, edit one of the records for Steven, and uh, we get back, uh, we get over here information uh, with editable fields about Steven. And what we can also do, for example, we can go and um, open developer tools and network uh, so that when we execute post request, we'll see uh, what uh, data was sent to the backend. Okay, now if I go and change, uh, for example, Steven to one and save it, uh, let's scroll it a bit. Up over here, we'll see that uh, there was no validation errors in this case, and uh, we get success message uh, the, uh, which says that data saved successfully. And then we get uh, over here a post request, and this also another get request is executed uh, to refresh table uh, above uh, the form to reflect the successfully changed data. But uh, how to synchronize the table with uh, data changes we'll discuss in the next video. Today we'll focus only on post. Okay, so we look into this request and um, over here we see the payload with ID 1 because uh, Steven uh, primary key for the Steven record is uh, 1. And over here uh, in the post URL you'll see 0 and this is just a workaround uh, in, in this case because uh, I was unable to achieve uh, functionality where on the initial page load uh, for this post URL definition, it was throwing the error if the, there was no key uh, being set on the page load. So I said uh, key which doesn't exist, zero. And later when the actual record was selected and edited and data for the record was submitted to the backend, then I was explicitly passing ID of the primary key with the parameters and on the backend in Django, then I was extracting a key from the parameters, not uh, from this default URL parameter. I'll show it in a minute how it uh, looks like in the code. Okay, and yeah, if you change it back as it was before, uh, Steven, and there's one validation rule implemented in the backend which checks uh, for salary to be in range. So if, uh, let's say we'll put very low salary for this employee and try to save, we'll get the error saying invalid salary because it must be in this range. And uh, yeah, let's return it back to be 25,000, save it, now it's successfully saved. Yeah, so this is how it works. Uh, you saw one request which was successfully submitted to database, another one with validation error and validation error was reported to the uh, to the user. So now if you switch back uh, to the development environment, let's see step by step uh, where the main logic is implemented, uh, which uh, matters uh, for this implementation. So first of all, there is uh, a file called edit form htmx.html. Uh, this is um, Django HTML template, which implements uh, edit block editable form. As you can see from this uh, uh, from this uh, form tag. And on HTML form tag, we uh, define a few HTMX properties because with HTMX, you can add uh, attributes to standard HTML tags <coughs> and execute um, uh, get uh, post requests without writing any custom JavaScript. Uh, then all the functionality is handled by HTMX library. So in this case, we uh, specify that we want to execute post uh, on, on this form and um, <clears throat> from Django expression language we specify that we will uh, execute edit employee endpoint and 
In this case, I was getting error if there was no default key specified on initial page rendering. So I specified zero uh, because in this case, it not uh, on initial page loaded, it's not executed anyway. Uh, post request is not submitted. And later, when we actually execute post, uh, I specify ID over here, and uh, the ID is a hidden input, which points to the form instance employee ID, uh, which is the primary key, essentially. Okay, and uh, we trigger HTMX post on submit, and we swap um, out our HTML, uh, we replace the form when with the response that comes back. Uh, yeah, so this is... Uh, how it works and uh, in the form we have a button of type submit which is safe and when this button is pressed then uh, this button triggers uh, HTMX submit uh, which in turn executes the HTMX, HTMX post and um, basically a, a standard post is executed uh, attributes are collected submitted and sent to the backend and on the backend everything is processed uh, checked for validation errors and then save to database or uh, validation errors are turned back. Yeah, so if you look again into um, views definition, there's a post method. And uh, over here in the backend, we check if form is valid. If it's not valid, then we return uh, form itself uh, and also the list of errors. And we re return the template name uh, for editable form. So the same stuff is being displayed without full page submit and traditionally we get list of errors if a save is successful we also return a simple success message over here and in the forms uh, script we uh, implement django model form uh, which i explained in my previous videos and uh, over here uh, you'll find validation rule uh, implemented the one that you just saw on the application where we were checking uh, salary to be in range between minimum and maximum. So this is where the validation is implemented. And if uh, this rule fails, then validation message is returned back and displayed on the UI. And the last thing, how the validation messages are displayed. So we should scroll uh, down in edit form over here. And there's a separate div with feedback. Over here, we include uh, another HTML from partials info HTML, uh, this one. And let's open it. And in this info HTML, we have two blocks, uh, two for loops, one for errors, another for success. So obviously, if there are no errors returned in this response, then there'll be no, uh, this for loop will be empty and there'll, there'll be no alerts with errors. And and then we'll print out the message. And otherwise, other way around, uh, if there are, there are validation errors, there are no success messages. So. The first loop will print out validation errors, and the second loop will will not print out anything because because there are no success messages. And on the next request, uh, it will refresh automatically. So if user will fix data, uh, execute another post, so new response would come, and then based on uh, new response, either validation error uh, error messages will be displayed or success messages. Yeah, so this is um, how it works. So thanks for watching this uh, video and uh, my point was to show how you could use HTMX to implement a very practical uh, use case for uh, data update that um, uh, this use, use case is, is very common in any enterprise applications and not only execute uh, post to save the data, uh, my point was, but also how you could uh, return back the errors and display them uh, on the UI uh, and uh, the list of errors uh, you saw is included into uh, Django context and then it can be accessed uh, on the UI rendered conditionally. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.